Oh my God, Chris. Oh. I don't even think my cat would eat those. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and <laughs> welcome. Welcome. To this week's edition of Knitter Be Damned. Knitter Be Damned. Yes, sirs and ma'ams. Oh, shit. It's I, my birthday today. I, that's, I was about to say, I'm about to have a, a cigarette that's the prelude to our show, and today is Philip's birthday. So, yes. If you didn't see last week's episode. It was a birthdays episode. Yeah, we, we did a surprise episode for Trisha. Yes. And not knowing it, I did one for Philip also. It was awesome. I cried. Because I didn't want to do two birthday episodes at one, you know, in two weeks. That's, no, and this you know, isn't a birthday so, episode. No, no. This is a crazy episode. Mm. All right. We are celebrating Philip's birthday with... Ta-da! Meatloaf. Our typical Ooh. celebratory dinner. Yes. Yay. Yes. It was fried chicken or meatloaf, but <laughs> Publix fucked up and didn't have my, my chicken ready, so I'm getting meatloaf. It's still my favorite. I do, I do my grocery shopping at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes, I does. didn't expect them to have fried chicken ready to go at 7 a.m. So I, I went sleeping. back at 9 o'clock yes. after I went to the post office. Mm -hmm. Still no fried chicken. Bastards. Sorry. I was sleeping, so I really can't complain. This was all done while I was still in bed. So. Do y'all hear that? That's but our the, typical afternoon, summertime, Florida yeah. weather. Yeah, we've gotten started late. I was running around getting my own birthday presents today. It was actually kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so this week... Um, okay, so here's what happened, all right? Um, last week, uh, Trisha's grits and dulce story... Again, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, y'all need to catch up on our episodes. We were right about it being seaweed, It by is the way. seaweed. Yes, sir. Um, she was trying new things... At that time, the dulce she tried in Ireland and the grits she tried at a Cracker Barrel up north, which is sacrilegious. It's wrong. wrong. Just can't do it. Yeah. Um, it's like a Carl's Jr. down in the south. You won't see them. You just see, <coughs> see Arby's instead. They're the same company. That's why they're not called Carl's Jr. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, they just need a different name for a different district, for a different for a different zone of people. Yes. Anyway, so the Neil shoots me a message and says, "So when thinking about Trisha, I just saw these two Eng American girls try British food for the first time." Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And he said, and I said, "You know what? With Trisha, what she did, I think we should all do that. Okay? We're going to do a taste test. We should all do our own little taste test and share it. Yes. And uh, we should try something new that we've never had." And so Neil decided, <clears throat> okay, well, Neil decided he was going to do American sweets. So he showed me a picture of his American sweet. Section. Yes. <laughs> it, it wasn't was, that big. It, no, but it, it was full of junk. Yes. It was all like, you know, candies. Han Hanover pretzels, nerds. Yes. I told him to get nerds. Right. Um, chocolates, candies, it cookies. It was all chips. Yeah, it was all it was crap. Chips. It was all crap. All snack food. The, the only chips they had were Terra chips. And I'm like, Americans don't eat Terra chips. We eat Lay's or Ruffles. Yes. Okay, so. yeah, I don't know what Terra chips are. Are they corn <laughs> Let me chips? Tell you, it's, no, it's the ones that are made out of like beets and sweet potatoes. That. No, yeah. no, no, no. No, okay, it's 4th of July weekend. Yes. There's going to be a shitload of bar we barbecues. We red, white, blue chips. No, there are going to be a shitload of barbecues. Ain't one of them going to have terra chips. They're all going to have Lays. Lays and Ruffles. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have original barbecue, barbecue and, and sour cream and onion. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like vinegar, salt and vinegar. Nobody's going to have beet potato chips at nope. their barbecue. Because if they do, nobody's going to be there. That's right. That's right. That's like those beet potato chips are going to have cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> there may not even be any meat there. They had like vegan hot dogs, which are tofu dogs, which aren't bad, mind you, but it's not a hot dog. No, it kind of reminds me of the story I saw floating around the internet about the, the text between the mom and the daughter. And the mother asked the daughter, so are you coming to our barbecue this weekend? And the daughter says, yes, but is there anything you can do... For me, because I'm a vegan, she said yes. You should probably stay home. Oh, <laughs> we're having a barbecue. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we might have baked beans, but there's going to be meat fat in there. We're going to take an animal, slaughter yeah. it, strip it to pieces, and roast it. America. <laughs> and with some potato Baby chips. chips. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm drinking a few beers. Yes. So yeah, here's your vegan right here. This is vegan. Pops and wheat. Yeah. If you were not foolish enough, you would have been like, oh, okay, I'll go to that barbecue because they. Vegan beverages. beverages. That's right. 
Okay, so anyway, let's start with, I think that you and I should do our tasting last. Uh, agreed. Okay, agreed. all right. So let's just start with Neil's attempt at trying American junk food. Doesn't seem to be going very well for him. No. Mm-hmm. Neil. Go ahead. Take it away. Hoping this is working, it, it cut off then. I was just in the middle of eating a payday nutty bar. And it's okay. It's, um, I don't know, it's a little bit, <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I will eat that, I will, but it's not my favorite. Right, and last, oh no, I've still got two more, yeah. We'll go for a Reese's. So these are peanut butter cups. Uh, I think I might like these. I've got a feeling I may have had some. Oh, oh, aren't they cute? They're like little cake things. I'm sure these do these in like a Ben and Jerry's ice cream, don't they? Except they're a bit bigger. That tastes like false chocolate to me. Ooh, it's got a horrible aftertaste. No. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. That tastes like dog chocolate. Right, I'm going to this. Now this is something I really hope I don't like because, oh my God, that looks vile. What the fuck is that? Looks like something you'd scrape off a mouldy plate. That does not look appetising at all. Mm, it smells like that really cheap chocolate you get in, um, you know, Christmas bauble things. Yeah, that must be white chocolate. Well, it looked white, didn't it? Um, but it tastes a little bit like, I don't know if you have them in America, something called a Milky Bar. Um, which isn't really chocolate. I don't think there's any chocolate in a Milky Bar. Because uh, white chocolate is like just sugar, isn't it? Sugar and milk or something. It's okay, but it's not my thing. But the reason I have an issue with Hershey's is because over 20 years ago, they um, copyrighted trademarked the name Cadbury in America so that our chocolate company Cadbury's which is one of the most famous couldn't trade in America under that name and then recently in 2016 they won a lawsuit in America which meant that nobody can import Cadbury's chocolate into America and um, there was two companies that were doing it and both were sued I think some of the small uh, shops like I think uh, Gregory said there's one nearby where he lives that sells um, British products, uh, they can import their own in, although it is illegal, They're, they could be sued for doing it, but so many shops are doing it that it's not cost effective for um, Hershey to sue them all. So basically they've cornered the market in chocolate, and I'm not being rude, but if, I mean this is the only thing that's truly chocolate that I've had, that, that I don't class as chocolate because it's white chocolate. Um, it tastes like what we would give a dog. It tastes like, uh, is it carob? Um, there's a horrible aftertaste to it and it's not nice. Um, so I think they know that Cadbury's is, you know, a cut above their product, which is why they don't want it to be sold over there. So I urge all you American people, go out and buy some Cadbury's dairy milk, if you can see it. But above that, there's an even nicer chocolate, as far as I'm concerned, called Galaxy. And I think that might be made by the Mars Group. I'm not sure. Um, or it could even be Nestle. I, I really don't know. But Galaxy is my absolute favourite chocolate. And it's really, really nice. So, them. Disgusting. Don't like. Okay, so what was that Hershey bar that was white? It was cookies and cream. So it's like white chocolate and chocolate chips. And it's horrible. It's, it's, most, it, it's really it disgusting. Pretty, it yeah. did look like... Um, plastic white chocolate and plastic... Semi-sweet chocolate chips. You know what it looked like? It looked like a frozen boba drink. Which is equally oh, yeah. gross as well. Yes, they are. I don't like those equally either. Equally gross. I had them once and I was like, I don't need gelatin fish babies in my mouth. That's what it, first that's yeah. what it looks like, but then it's like tapioca flower balls. Yeah. 
Ew. And I like balls, but I don't like tapioca <laughs> flower balls in my mouth. No. They explode, and it's not the same kind of joy. They no. explode. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> not the same kind of joy, people. No. 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 Okay, back to Boba. We're off Boba. Okay. Uh, he never mentioned the <coughs> thing about the snap. No, I guess what's his camera that? got cut off. Let me tell you something. Um, we used to know a guy in my neighborhood when I was in my early, early 20s. I lived in a very bad neighborhood, and his name was Snapple. And he would come home from the Snapple factory to sell cases of Snapple for crack cocaine. <laughs> and them crack dealers loved that shit. They loved Snapple. They loved Snapple. They did the case of 24, got that man a 40 rock. You know, I had one in the 20s, in the 20s, in my 20s, when they were really, really popular. Sure. Remember? Oh, yeah. They had the girl, the, the woman who worked for the company, did all the advertising. She was oh, not... Oh, it's, when, it's yeah. when they started putting all those really crazy sayings and stuff on the side. And on the... Uh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I do remember uh, that. But they had a really good advertising campaign. And I tried one. Not so bad. They're not bad? Not, they're I think, bad. actually, if you ask me, they're better than oh, Arizona. I'm sorry. Let me forget to say, Snapple was a giant hippie. He had dreads down to his ass. So it was a guy? He was a dude. And he had dreads down to his ass. He had always been a hippie. He was a really cool musician. Mm -hmm. But he lived in a bad neighborhood. And that was his drug of choice. And every week he would come home from work. Because working at the Snapple factory, they gave you cases of Snapple. Okay, you okay, you totally confuse me. Okay? Why? Because I'm thinking you're talking about the guy that invented Snapple. Oh, no. Like that, it was named after the guy, like Kinko's. No, no, no. Like that the... guy was a hippie. Oh, Kinko was I, a hippie. If I could remember, I think his first name was Eric. I'm not going to say his last name. No, 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 no. Yeah, Don't no, even, I'm, no. Okay. Yeah, you're I'm talking about the, the crackhead in your neighborhood named yeah, Snapple. It's Snapple. They call, the crack yeah. dealers when call you, them Snapple. When you tell that story, yeah. it, someone wants a fun fact about Snapple. <laughs> Don't start off with, you know, Snapple, Snapple used to come down and buy his crack cocaine from my local dealer. After working at the, the, at the factory, all factory all day. Yeah, you didn't know that? That's an awesome story. Oh, man. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. The past is the past. Yeah, y'all don't have a Google search that says, you know, the owner of Snapple was a hippie cracker. Crack no, 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 no. Um, okay. Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay. I like them. I love them. Yeah. I will tell you, they're different tasting when they're the smaller ones. Ooh, I will say something also. Um, just because they have that label on them doesn't necessarily mean they were made at a Hershey's factory. Um, they may have been made in England under a different different recipe. Because I, when I was a truck driver, I delivered a lot of food from factories that made the food. And um, That's right. that, that would happen all the time. Like, you would yeah. get multiple um, recipes being made at one factory, and they would be going to different sections of the world. That's right. Let's not forget. Every country has different uh, standards, standards for what you can call yeah. something. America allows bugs in theirs. Well, I'm just saying that there's a certain amount of cocoa or yes. cacao. 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 Isn't that from like Star Trek? Cacao. <laughs> I don't know. You have to have in a bar. No, it's tapao. Tapao. <laughs> cacao. <laughs> there's a certain amount of cacao that has to be in a bar for okay. it to be called chocolate. Like moo cow? No. Cacao. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> are you, did you get, did you hang out with Snapple earlier? <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Shit. Just having some fun with the banter. God oh, dang, that's not banter. <laughs> Shit. I have been watching a lot of Muppet Show lately. Oh, my God. I think God. it's kind of spilled over. Yeah, okay. Just so you know, um, his strange friends have totally gone in a whole new direction that I am so happy with. Uh, they are starting to look like Muppets. Yes. And they look amazing. And see what happens when you stick with something and you do whatever and ever you get like, okay, I've, I've hit a block. I'm getting bored. Let me figure out how I can do. I changed. Yeah, I keep trying new techniques that I look at. I see people's techniques. Like, mm -hmm. I started putting hands and fingers. I watched a video like three months ago and decided I couldn't do it. Trisha shared some feet that she had done. And... What? Is that like a fetish thing? What are you going to do that? It does sound dirty. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Wow. She shared these pink feet that she had <laughs> for this pussy cat that she made. And it literally, like, just looking at her foot helped me figure out how to do it. And then I was able to make long finger. I can only get three toes in. I haven't been able to figure out how to get five in. I'm not... <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Carry on. <laughs> well, keep just... telling your story, man. So right now, my fingers and toes only have three. That's all I can get on them. <laughs> Apparently, that's funny. You twisted bitches. Neil, thanks for thanks. You didn't like any of it except for that sample. You downed it like you downed it like a crackhead. You're like, <laughs> yeah, and you never said you a never said a word it. about the sample. <laughs> obviously, he liked it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, he, he liked it. Okay, so Trisha, Story. isn't it funny that the minute I said her name, the heavens went because <laughs> they scared of her. <laughs> that's right. Trisha's video. You have as many. You, Trisha, you had as you have had as many children as my grandparents did. So that's really cool, especially for this time of day. Well, I'm leading into the video. Ooh. Okay, so, so Trisha's video this week. Yeah. Uh, she talks about trying new things. History. A little history. And some uh, parental. Some advice. Some, some advice. advice. Yes. Some protection advice. Absolutely. Okay, so Trisha. <laughs> Please go right on ahead. Take it away. Hi everyone, Trisha and Rockabilly coming to you from Western New York today where we are expecting severe weather, so wear protection. I wish I learned that before I had nine kids. Rockabilly is wearing a fashionable Dollar General bag. This is raincoat because they don't make raincoats in his size, so we had to make one for him because he's got to protect his little kung fu hair that's going on there. Sumo wrestler hair. Um, I want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes. That was actually really amazing. <laughs> happy birthday to Philip. I know your birthday is actually this weekend, so happy birthday to you again. I hope you enjoy your day. Uh, I talked about dulse in the last episode. That is actually dried seaweed, so just so you guys know. Uh, they pull it out of the sea, they put it on drying racks, and they throw it in bags and call it a delicacy. It's weird. Different countries have different delicacies. Um, I met a woman who has an alpaca farm who actually just saved 20 alpacas from, believe it or not, a slaughterhouse. So apparently somewhere alpaca meat is a delicacy, I guess, or maybe it's just part of their regular diet. I don't know. I know it's not here, but apparently they eat alpaca meat somewhere. So she saved these uh, alpacas and she makes yarn and she weaves the yarn into the most beautiful shawls. Um, Stephanie, Miss Chambers, Miss Stephanie Chambers, I know since you are kind of um, Im immobilized right now, perhaps maybe, I don't know how much movement it takes to actually weave and how much you can actually move, but maybe you can try weaving. It's an idea anyway, and I hope you feel better soon. Um, everyone is trying new things this week because of my grit eating adventure. I didn't have good luck with the grits. The problem with trying new things is that sometimes you try them and then you want more and you can't get it. So I actually have to go to the international section of our grocery store, that's an hour away, to get my favorite thing that comes out of the UK. It's called Rabina. Actually my favorite thing that comes out of the UK is Neil James. Okay, wait, and there's David Tennant and Tom Meisen and Rod Stewart and Sean Connery. So this is one of my favorite things that comes out of the UK. It is black currant juice. I don't know what black currant is. I don't know if it's just muddy water from a choppy section of the Thames. I, I'm not sure. I think it's berries because they have berries up here. But it's really good. It's actually 7 or $8 for a bottle this size which seems really expensive, but this is a concentrate. You mix it with water, so you get a lot more out of this than you would think. Um, I want to try it one of these days with vodka, because I'm sure Rabina and vodka would actually be a pretty good drink. Um, it's funny that we are celebrating 4th of July, which is our independence from the UK, and I'm talking about getting things from the UK. Um, I want to say happy 4th of July to everyone. Stay safe. If you live near someone that you know has PTSD before you blow off fireworks, uh, just kind of give them a heads up, knock on their door. It doesn't mean you can't have any fun, but before you just go out shooting off your rockets, knock on their door say, hey, we're going to be shooting off fireworks so that they can put on some headgear. Uh, I know some states actually have signs 
that the soldiers that had have PTSD can put on their front lawns, which I think is a great idea. Just let people know, you know, it's a hard holiday for some of them. Um, Fourth of July also brings to mind a story about Franklin or Benjamin Franklin's daughter. Her name was Sarah Franklin Bach, and they called her Sally. And she actually was part of a knitting group. She actually started it, I believe, in Philadelphia during the Revolutionary War, where they knit bandages and scarves and socks for the soldiers. So she, it was almost like it was like the first auxiliary, women's auxiliary for the military, um, which is kind of neat. And yes, Benjamin Franklin actually wasn't just the gigolo type man that everyone thinks that he was. He was actually married. He was in a common law marriage until 1774 when his wife had passed away and his daughter that started this group um, also served as the hostess for functions at his home. He took his wife's place so there you go some history that maybe you didn't know about but it's reminiscent of our squares that we're doing for my aunt. Um, I'm keeping them in here right now which is still going on. We still need squares six inch by six inch squares any color Knit or crochet doesn't matter as long as they're six inches by six inches. Um, I have some some squares from Cindy Moore, and I'm keeping them all separate so I know who's are who's. Kelly Maddox sent me. Um, we've got some patchwork and some cable work and this cute little daisy one. I think that's adorable. Great work. So we're still collecting squares until we can get some more here. So for all you new members, um, just hit me up on the group page and I'll let you know all about it. But until next week, try something new this week. Um, maybe not alpaca meat, but maybe maybe buy some alpaca yarn. I wouldn't eat it though. You got to knit or crochet with it. So okay, crocheters, keep on crocheting on. See you next week. Okay, so the first thing I have to say is I really love that little uh, jacket that you made for Rockabilly. Yes. That is awesome. awesome. Yeah. A little plastic bag, you just tied some knots around it. Very That's Japanese of you. How very creative. Yeah, see, yeah. I like that. Kept him safe. What is that, um, the, the art, oh, you're not going to remember, the art form where you take the, the presents and you wrap them a certain way and it looks a certain... You did it for me. Yeah, but I forgot what it was called. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was uh, just... No, it's not uh, it, no. origami stuck in my head. That's silly. Yeah, it's um, oh, 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 origami. It's not origami. It's not origami. Mm -hmm. It's the Japanese art of wrapping gifts. Yes, he did and it with he, bandanas for me. One yes, year. It was the coolest cloth thing. and plastics and things like that. Yes. Anyway, yes. Um, I'll have to look that up. Um, uh, ben Franklin, dude. I don't know why we don't have Ben Franklin Day. I love Ben Franklin, by I'm the way. Serious. He's the coolest person that's not a politician in the history of the United States. But he gave us so much. He gave yes. us the post office. He gave us the library. He yes. gave us electricity. He gave us the knowledge of <laughs> making... He gave us beer and smoking marijuana. He gave us nudist camps. Yes, he gave us nudist camps. He gave us the almanac. And electricity. He gave a couple of people, I think... Glasses. Okay, but he invented he invented, bifocals. Bifocals. he invented bifocals. And we don't have a Ben Franklin yeah, what's that all about? And he's only on the five dollar bill. Oh the beautiful, beautiful spacious skies for amber waves of gray. Oh purple mountains majesty above the fruited plain. America. Okay, calm down there, girl. <laughs> I'm looking at him. He's like, he's having, he's having a seizure. You should see it. It's funny as hell. I'm like, whoa. I was getting into my Kate Smith. Is that what that was? You got into Kate Smith. Yeah. With the five toes. <laughs> Don't do that shit again. <laughs> All right. You know what? You know what? It's what? also Canada Day. It is Canada Day. Today. This weekend? See, I do. First. I share I my it's birth. The first. It's the first. It's the first. It is the first. Today July 1st is, is Canada Day. And Philip Champlain. Champlain's birthday. All right. That's so, right. But happy birthday, Canada. 
And happy birthday, Canada. Why they're not? Cool. They, they're the coolest neighbors. Yes. They well, really are. They, they have some they, political issues that I don't care for. But but see, that's, that's a that's good them. neighbor. It's yeah. like good fences make good neighbors. Neighbors, that's right. <laughs> Give me a moat. I mean, we, we could have had shittier neighbors. So, with all that said, yes. Miss Chambers. Miss Stephanie Chambers. Who lives in Montreal. Yes. Has done her own taste testing video for us. Ooh. And I'm going to give you, I got to tell you, before we start, we saw it. Yeah, prepare yourself. Brilliant. Yes, that fucking Brilliant. hilarious. It's, it's, it's fabulous. Send this shit viral. Miss mm. Chambers. Miss Chambers. Stephanie Chambers. Take it away. Thank you. Hello, crocheters. It's Stephanie Chambers. And Stephanie Chambers coming to you from Montreal. Uh, thanks for all the good well wishes and everything. My shoulder is still... If you can't see it, it's kind of just hanging there and it's quite all right. Uh, last week, Trisha did her video, and she put something in her mouth, and it's just like, yeah, it started a whole thing, and I got an email from Gregory that asked, we're going to do taste test this week, so we're going to try something that we've never tried, so this is going to be interesting, because um, I, I went to uh, an African market not too far from my house and it was decided that I wasn't going to buy anything from there because I really didn't want this to become an episode of Fear Factor. Um, yeah, I'm just really not up for eating donkey dick or horse anus or some weird shit like that. Uh, but I did find some things that I've never had before and I, I find them a little interesting. I've seen them for a while because, you know, they're, they're at the stores that I shop at on a regular basis. So um, the very first thing that we're going to try is going to be um, peach wine. Uh, it's made here in Quebec, Canada. Uh, I've never tried it. It's a brand called Nicolas Lalou, uh, Le Gentleman Bohème. Uh, it's a white wine made with peaches. So uh, let's set the tone for this. And uh, yeah, it is after 12. So, you know, you guys won't think I'm an absolute alcoholic. But, you know, it might make the other stuff taste better. So let's see. Ooh, smells a little like cough syrup, guys. A little bit. Okay, it's got a bite, but um, you can definitely taste the peach. Um, yeah, uh, I think um, we might have to drink quite a bit more of this to make sure that it's actually good. So, um, yeah, I have a whole bottle here, so. Uh, it gets a little better with each sip you take, so not too bad. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um, this, let's see here. This is a croquant de sesame. It's a crunchy sesame, and it is from Lebanon. Uh, now, from what I understand, this is supposed to be like a cookie type thing. And as you can see, there's really no pictures or anything, and it's um, got lots of fiber in it, so I'm a little afraid of that. But, oh my god, this thing has 140 calories for this one cookie. Let's, uh, hmm, let's see. This could be interesting. If not, it smells like burnt toast, and it's sticky. It's, oh, okay, so sticky and crunchy. Oh, you really have to like sesame for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now it tastes like burnt toast with peach jam. Oh. Okay, I tried. Okay, um, we're not gonna eat any more of that. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Next, oh. Ooh. Next, we have something called Harlegi. These are biscuits from India. Uh, I guess these are cookies. Oh, wow. I have never seen cookies with an expiration date that short. Okay. Um, so, let's see. It says they're supposed to be good dipped in milk, but we don't have any milk, so we're going to fake it. Oh, they look like little arrowroot cookies in their own little package. So, maybe... Kinda, they come in little packages like this, and you get four of them in a package. Um, I'm not a huge sweets eater, so this should be, um, I, I don't know, I've, I've never, I have to get them open first, so you gotta give me a second here. Um, okay, so... They smell like arrowroot cookies. They're crunchy. Oh my god, they're a lot sweeter than arrowroot cookies. Good lord have mercy. I have kind of a cross between a vanilla wafer and an arrowroot arrow root cookie and a butter cookie. Um, they're okay. Not particular to my tasting because I'm, like I said, I'm not a huge sweets eater. <clears throat> okay, so we gotta wash that down. Those are actually not bad. I know where I bought it too, so I'll probably have to go buy a couple more bottles. Keep it in the keep it in this cold room downstairs. I'm gonna do that. This would be really excellent with fruit salad. Like, make your fruit salad and then pour some of this on it. Put it in the fridge and let it marinate for overnight. That'd be pretty good. Okay, I think we're gonna need a refill because the next one I'm scared of. Um, this is something I have seen multiple times at the grocery store, and <clears throat> Mark says I always give it that face, but we're going to step outside of our comfort zone. Yep, definitely better the more you drink. <clears throat> of course, that's how it is with most alcohol. Okay. These are from Korea. They are shrimp crackers. Uh, they're actually wheat flour, rice bran, oil, and ground shrimp. Um, I like shrimp. Um, not real sure how this is going to go over, but <clears throat> uh, I know the stores have a very difficult time keeping them in stock because we have the store that I went to actually has a, a rather large Asian population. Oh! Okay, the smell from the bag just hit me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh. These kind of smell like what you would imagine the hot tub from Bachelor in Paradise would smell like. <clears throat> um. Yeah, they have that 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 very um. As Trisha would put it. Uh, it smells like the ocean and not in a good way. Um, wow. All right. Uh, okay, they, they kind of fake you out because they sort of look like a Cheeto. Um, it has little pink flecks in it and some swirly looking stuff. Um, all right, guys, here we go.
Oh my God. And that's what I would imagine the water from the hot tub on Bachelor in Paradise tastes like. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's dried crunchy fish. Oh my God. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my. Okay, that, that, that. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, thank God they were only a dollar twenty nine. Oh my God, Chris. Oh, I don't even think my cat eats those. Oh, I, oh, it, if you eat any of this stuff and you truly enjoy it, I am so sorry if I have offended you. Oh my God, those are gross. Oh, oh, mm, now I know how Neil felt eating the Hershey bar. Because if you're used to eating Lint and Godiva chocolate and somebody jams a Hershey bar on your face, it's kind of gross. But those, I love shrimp. Oh, but not like that. Oh, not like that. Oh, guys, I love you. Oh, God. Um, I hope in some way today I have entertained you, made you laugh. You've enjoyed my suffering. Because I'm not even sure what to think about that. But anyway, um, I've ordered my knitted crow, well, my knitter be damned, Madman Knitting Crocheters Unite t-shirt. So it should be here between the 5th and the 7th of next month. And I'll be wearing that for the show immediately after. Uh, I'm loving the post. I'm absolutely loving the post. And that's a garbage truck. Uh, you guys have made me laugh so hard. I got a little depressed there for a little bit. Um, got a little down in the dumps. Had a little funk going on. Not real big on the whole medication thing, so I've been avoiding it, but this might help. So, uh, I'm gonna go for now. Remember, I love all of you. And cheers! Happy crocheting, guys. Oh, yeah! Ooh, Canada Day! Uh, this weekend and 4th of July is next Tuesday, so um, we'll just consider it that I'm starting early. Bye, guys. Holy <laughs> shit. That was genius. genius. And, uh, <coughs> you love the wine, I see. That was brilliant. Yeah. Okay, that was, okay. So we got notes. Sick notes. Yes. Uh, Okay, first of all, I love how she started off by saying, uh, hey, it's after 12. Like, it's 12.05. It's, 12 it's, so <laughs> it's not good. like 4 o'clock. It's the afternoon. <laughs> it's the afternoon. That's right. We're having cocktails in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, and the peach wine. Come on, man. We call that Barlow's and James Barlow's wine Jane's. coolers. Uh, Boone's Farm. Boone's. No, I don't think. I'm sure. No, that's formaldehyde. With no, I like Boone's Farm. Oh, of course you would. Well, shut up. <laughs> when I was a kid, that was good stuff. Um. Donkey dick. Well, let me say, ladies. Most ladies don't say they don't want one. However, I wouldn't want to eat one either. Wait. Dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. Find a place to edit. Find a place to edit. And okay. <laughs> Donkey dicks and assholes, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Rhino anus. Ooh. It's a delicacy. I'm sure it is. It makes you pucker. It's chewy. <laughs> it can be a little tight. As we all know. Um. Hey, did you notice the packaging of the arrowroot cookie things? Arrowroot cookie things? It was, I don't know, it was an Indian Cupid baby? It's like made with baby Indian, Indian hands. hands. Cause yeah. you just sitting there going, See, they're my fingers. My fingers. <laughs> Creepy. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Not really looking at anything. He wasn't. There wasn't anything directed towards anyone. No, it was, it was sort just of a... like, come have a lick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's. I don't then, understand. And then you had said that the the package had this uh, shortest expiration date you'd ever yes. seen. 
all I can think is it probably had a four year expiration date and you were the only person <laughs> to ever buy well, them. Well, it's not <laughs> it true. It's been sitting there that long. I will tell you that, that cookies, especially, they don't put a lot of preservatives in them. It's probably why they have such a short expiration date. All right. All yes. Right. But the Cupid baby, that they st- they, they like snatched that baby out of the Ganges and threw him on the box, the box like that. Uh, funny. I think you have found a new mantra for this group, and that's wash it down. Wash it down. Wash it down. Wash it down. Every time you were like, oh, that's just disgusting. That's it. Have to wash, wash it down. down. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Anytime anybody gives us any shit, wash it down. Look at you. You were you were like, oh, this one is all right. right. It's like a melted Jolly Rancher, I guess. And Apparently. All of a sudden, but now, you're like, hey, this is pretty good. We need to buy a couple some of balls. bottles of this shit. <laughs> I have to say that burnt to- a little bit of burnt toast and the, the jam actually tasted great. I think if you threw some blue cheese in there, you'd have yourself a little... little um, uh, hors d'oeuvre with it, little wine, little peach wine with some blue cheese and some sesame cracker. Seems good. Maybe a little chip piece of bacon. Okay, uh, you were talking about the um, the fruit salad with the wine porter. Man, girl, just take that wine and throw some fruit in it and have a sangria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, brandy is all you would need. I think it's like a half cup of brandy per Not bottle that. of wine. Just throw in some watermelon and some cherries and maybe a little pineapple. Some sliced apple. Some sliced apple. Definitely oranges. Definitely oranges. Definitely oranges. And George's have sangria in them. Or sangria has oranges in <laughs> George's it. George's what? George's what? George's sweat what? A couple of people have bought our t-shirt. Yes. And so uh, we'd love to see you with Wear them. Yeah, we want to see pictures of you on our t-shirt. t-shirt. That's yes. awesome. If you want a t-shirt, link is down below. <clears throat> so if you also look in the description box below, we have a new link. If you've watched the show for a while, you know that Neil James is one mad-ass, kick-ass knitter. Absolutely. And crochet. Mm-hmm. But his knitting is... <laughs> He's got some really great <laughs> He's ideas. He's got some awesome patterns. Mm-hmm. So, there's a link below to his Wolverine pad. I'm not supposed to say Wolverine. Shh. It rhymes with Pulverine. Rhymes with pul- Wolverine. Okay, Pulverine. You know what I'm saying. Don't let the corporate guys know. Anyway, that link to his pattern to Ravelry is down below, and you get a 15% discount if you use the word Madman. Madman. Mad it's almost hypnotic. Okay, after everybody else has done their taste tests. All right, we got one, too. Ooh. Okay, so first we have to say, uh, you know, we've talked an awful lot, like, we live in the Asian neighborhood. Yes. And um, because Stephanie had her little shrimp cookies oh. or I crackers. Need to, I need to run off real quick. I know what you're going to get. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right, we'll just pause. <laughs> okay. All right, he's back. I'm back. That was fast. <laughs> all right, so people have asked us why, you know, <clears throat> all these episodes we talk about, we live in the Asian neighborhood. Yes. Let me tell you something. The Asian neighborhood is maybe five blocks wide, three blocks deep. Sure. There are four giant grocery stores. Grocery stores. Full of all kinds of craziness. Full of crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I going to the, it's like, actually, I would have to say it's like going to the uh, 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 flea market. Or not a flea market, but a a, a country market. Uh, all the plates and dishes. I don't. To me, oh, it's yeah, like okay. yeah, all the all, the, know, dishes all the, the dishes and knickknacks. Prepared foods. Well, there's that, but, but they have like a whole wall of plates and pots and pans and yeah. glassware. That's that's the fun part. That's the yes. safe part. Yeah. Um, but we have discovered that if you can get past the smell of walking into an Asian market, you're yeah. already doing better than most people. Sure, sure. And it's usually the 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 fruit, jackfruit. Uh, no, it's that it's that rotten fish smell or that garbagey smell that that hits oh, you. Okay. That, well, they remember do. when we had uh, food from Mamek? Yes. And we it's said like garbage. We said it tasted like the Asian market smells. It did. Okay. It really did. It was like locker rooms and sore feet. Now, <laughs> yeah. now I will tell you, in a pinch, there's one across the street. Yes. In a pinch. If I need scallions, I'll just run over there rather than going two blocks to the supermarket. Absolutely, because okay. they do have some good products there. They Fresh have the, produce the, is okay. The weirdest thing I've seen there, to be honest with you, okay. is, well, it was not this. This is when we do our taste share. I have the saddest candy in the world. Tell them about it. Okay. This 
is the saddest candy in the world. Why is it the saddest candy in the world? Well, it's from a Ghibli Studios movie called Grave of the Fireflies. I dare anyone to watch this movie because I, I cried t 10 minutes in and I don't believe I stopped crying until about two hours after I watched this movie. It's, you think your life sucks? Watch this, watch this animated movie. movie. Yes. But this One is time. this is from the the Vietnamese grocery store that's down the street, and it's got a picture of one of the children in this movie eating this candy before he dies. Before he dies, <laughs> starvation. <laughs> because they get to the point that they put little water in the tin, and it's the greatest tin in the world. It seals. Um, it's made out of metal. It's a tin seal. It's got like the old quick. It is a cool box. It is a cool little box. You know, it opens up and it's got a little seal on it. It's got a picture of this starving ass dead child on the front of the cover. Now, not just to remind you, it mm. is a Vietnamese. This is a Vietnamese neighborhood. Yes. And it's a Japanese candy. Yes. 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 And it is backwards, so you won't be able to, to write it right. But so they're amazing candies. There's cho ones that taste like chocolate, and all the fruit flavors are in here. But there's these ones that taste like chocolate that taste like chocolate. And but gotta, it's rock candy. And i got to tell you, people who know about the movie, yeah. that have never seen the movie, right. still cry and say it's the saddest, saddest movie, movie you'll ever, ever see in your life. you've never seen it, you go, I know what that movie's about. Yes. And we're not going to tell you. Tell you about it. I can't. You have to watch it yourself. <laughs> That's I your challenge That's for your the challenge week. for the week. Grave go, of the Fireflies. Go find that movie. Yes. And be alone. Because you're going to weep. It's the saddest candy in the world. I'm about right to weep here. now knowing oh, yeah. what the movie's about. Wow. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, it's all right, so that's why, that's why we didn't pick anything from the Asian markets because yeah. we've beaten it all and it sucks. No, that's not true. Just like the shrimp fucking crackers she had. Oh, what, see, see, we have different what flavors. Did we have I like shrimp toast in the poo poo platter from the Oriental. Like to, it's like everything. It's the it's like all the the you, fair but you food. You did not get that at the market. I did not get it at the market because <laughs> no. they don't have it at the market. No, they have they had literally have the rice balls wrapped in the the uh, palm leaves or the uh, what are they called the sandwiches the bow bomb no no not bomb me oh uh, that's oh shit bow mao. Oh, I don't remember. I think anyway, bomb me is Korean. Yes, but it's like a soggy doughy subway sandwich. Oh. Both. Uh, but anyway, we, they do have great stuff in there. Like the weirdest thing I said I saw was, was sake, a bottle of sake that had a um, fermented egg in it. Yeah, okay. a black one. A black one. It's like green and black. <laughs> it's been in there a long time. Um, and that's the crazy thing. You go in there and they're like, their fun section for sweets and cool things is like an octopus fermented on a popsicle yes, stick yes. like no. they like jellies too like like mango Lots, yeah. mango jellies and 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 leche jellies and but anyway they eat some weird shit despite all that yes uh, when Neil and I talked about doing this taste testing and he went to his American section, yes. I was like, man, I got a British store right over here around the corner. Um, and it's a little British grocery store. I want to, let me tell you something, man. They had HP sauce for $12. $12. $12. Shit's $12. expensive. <clears throat> I went to Publix because yeah. I know they have HP sauce there. Mm -hmm. It was $4. $4. So this the little trendy British yes, store exactly. is expensive as fuck. They yeah. sell it's like all like uh, Doctor Who shit and teapots, and, like the only British and only crazy drink little tea biscuits. Yes, and little biscuits. Yes, but they have, the, they have the same shit over at the freaking Publix. They do. There's a tiny little British section for a quarter of the cost, which I find interesting because the top half is all mangoes and chutneys and Indian. Yes, it is. Marsalis. And we'll get into that with our taste <laughs> test, by the way, because there's some shit that we got that's that's a mixture of Indian and uh, British flavors. I'm no, that's exactly where this came from. Well, if it's called Turkish Delight, it's not from India. Isn't that close? No. Well, damn it. Well, it's another <laughs> country that's on the map. <laughs> There's a lot of rugs and pillows everywhere. Don't worry. Okay, we'll get there. I'll get him a map. Yes. Okay, so the first thing we want to try is, okay, so hold on. Oh, yes, oh. this, this. Because I got to tell you, it's called Vimto Fizzy. All Vimto right. Sit so Fizzy. Neil and I had said we were going to do a beverage, a candy, and a, a cracker, a biscuit, a cookie. Yes. Okay. So um, here's what I got to tell you. The funky thing about this is that there is a label that's been 
put uh, over their label. Yes, and you can feel it. It's it's like glued on. I want to know what the difference between your label and ours label is. is. I can get it off. Well, after well, we're done, because uh, I, I'm just anxious to know. Apparently... Can you read that, by the way? Yes, I can. Okay. Vimto is a seriously mixed up blend of grape, raspberries, black currants, uh, and it's a refreshingly fruity... It's been refreshingly fruity since 1908. Ooh, that's good. All right, and it I, I love down here, I love the, the small, super fine print. Yes. Um, fizzy mixed fruit juice, juice, drink with flavoring, sugar and sweeteners. Well, no shit, it's a cola. Yes. Um, store cool and dry. I've had it in the fridge all day, so. <laughs> it's, it's kind of is your fridge out. dry? Well, that's what a soda should be in the fridge, isn't it? We're supposed to drink it chilled? Yes. I'm assuming. Yeah. A silly Americans. Um, well, they don't have refrigeration in England. But here's the last line I like. Suitable for vegetarians. Oh. Like, we're going to make a meat cola drink. Do y'all do that? Oh, Did this you is, have to uh, put a label on there? It's, that means it's almost, <laughs> this is a vegan soda. Well, no, it says not vegan, vegetarian. Which makes you think, do they make a meaty soda? <laughs> that you have to look and you go, what? oh, I'm uh, a vegetarian. This, this, sweetheart, this they, drink in is... Japan, in Japan, <laughs> they make crab soda. Fuck that. It's crab. It's the, the, the juice from crabs put with seltzer water and sweetener. Maybe it's only because of the metric difference. I'm Maybe sure that's, that's what it is. I'm, see, I'm, it. I'm trying to peel it let's off. Let's drink that. All right, let's up. drink it. Okay, let's see. All right, you saw the Vento. If we're in mirror mode. All right. This is not what we really look like. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're not in mirror mode. That's Gregory Patrick. This, this is Philip Champlain. Champlain. That's right. It smells lovely. Oh, was That's, it expensive? It was a dollar fifty a can, which is, I don't know, That's expensive, expensive. But it smells real. It smells real. It smells, real. It smells like a real drink. A drink. No, All it right, smells it's like nice and fruit. purpley. Yes. Look at that. That's a lovely color. Probably. It is. It's, uh, it's trying, I rem, it reminds me of something. Oh my god, that's thick. Let me see. You, need to, you, you could probably add water to that. Oh, that's, that's potent. Thick. It's, it's delicious, delicious. But it's, 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 it's on you. That's cocktail. This is cocktail mixer. Yeah, it, I'm trying to remind, that smell reminds me of, yes, it's very Raspberry uh, framboise. That's what it smells and tastes it's, like. It's like it framboise? tastes like framboise. It's the oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like yeah. fruit added to the no, use for liquor shots. No, it's a raspberry beer, framboise. Oh. Yeah, really. That's exactly what framboise tastes like. That's really good. It's expensive. It's I think a dollar twenty-five a can is expensive. It's imported. Ooh, I have an imported cola. cola. It's giving me the bubble farts though. I'm like my tummy's <laughs> getting tight already. Wash it down. Ooh. No, that's actually really tasty. It's really good. One Vim, year, Vimto. One year for my birthday. I feel like I'm on fall <laughs> or a fallout. Vimto. So what's next? Because that's um, really good. I need something to wash this down. We're gonna go with the oh. Turkish delight. Beer I, I was really, I, I was really hoping we would do this last. Okay. However, um, he's had it. Yeah. I haven't, but I know it's a hugely popular. You're gonna need to be careful. Every every episode I see a freaking marple, everybody's going, ooh, they give you Turkish delight. Turkish delight. So if this is actually what Turkish delight is, somebody's fucking with somebody. All right, we don't need... Uh, can I... May I, for a moment, he says, I've got something I can open all this shit with. And I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Put that down before someone loses I'm a limb. survivalist. I've got... It's on a keychain. Yeah, chain. it's on a keychain, but it's also bigger than my head. Oh, it's Put it's that tiny. down. We don't need that for any of this. Okay. He's trying to prove himself or something. It's not proving. I'm a survivalist. All right, so... Again, another fake label. I'm, is it? Uh, yes. Can you read the ingredients? Is it... Um... Oh. Hmm. Your glasses are oh, in the bathroom. My glasses are in the bathroom. I was doing the crossword puzzles. No, it's okay. Um, if I um, made under license from Cadbury, which Cadbury? Cadbury. <laughs> Although I do tell you that every year at Easter, it's the one thing that almost every American goes for is the Cadbury, Cadbury eggs. eggs. That's I wonder if they're made by. It's it's, a, it's that's a thing. Maybe it is. They're really gross. Actually, they're over overly sweet. 
Uh, Turkish Delight, 76% covered with milk chocolate. Ingredients, syrup, sugar, water. Y'all don't need to know all that. You just need to know if it tastes good. Yeah. So, um, I can describe them to you beforehand, but let's go. I'll pick a it's piece. It's nice and soft. Yes. You can tell that. Um, Ooh, did we have to cut it? No. Here, put that down. <laughs> you got to be careful with that. Okay. Um... You know, I rather like it. Do you? It's not so sickeningly sweet. I don't know what the filling is. I'm, I'm sure if I read the label, it would tell me. Well, um, but no, it's got a great, um, let me find the words. It's a gelatin, Yeah. but it's harder. It's, like it's, a, it's almost like an, um, a nougat. No, it's nothing like a nougat. Um. It's like a jelly, but it's tougher. It's, it's softer than a caramel, harder than jelly. It melts really well. It melts. It's actually, and the flavor is kind of like, let me see, it's kind of spicy, not like in cayenne spicy, but in like um, ginger spicy. Ginger. It's sweet and gingery. Um, I can't read that. Into cinnamon, maybe. Yeah, that's Turkish. I mean, that's this is good. I wish I had some. Uh, then you will really love framboise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I I like this Turkish delight. It's not bad. And it, I'm with Stephanie. I don't like. Um, it's not a sweet eater. I don't eat sweets. I like more tart. Well, it's I said I didn't bad. like it, and I'm actually enjoying it this I time. Know. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. Not so bad. If you're not into sweets and you you want just a, like a little pinch of chocolate. Yes, because my serotonin be level is going to go up. Because of that little bit of chocolate I just had. Um, it's made by Cadbury. So there you go, Neil. All right, then. So next up was our cookie. Our biscuit. Biscuit. We got Crawford's Bourbon Creams. Woo! Bourbon Cream. Yeah. And Neil's like, oh, this is the same shit you find at 7 Eleven. Well, so are the fucking Snapples and Reese's. <laughs> yes, it is, sir. All right. So is this like. Do you hear it? No, no. no. I tear it open with my nails. We don't, we don't need that freaking claw. What is that? Well, I don't like the way it's packaged because the minute you open it, they're there. They are there. So they're brown. Yeah, they're brown. Are they chocolate? It seems difficult to well, open. It That's says, actually okay, good. It says that they are a um, sandwich biscuit. Okay. It's a sandwich, sandwich cookie. cookie. It's a sandwich biscuit. Filled with chocolate flavor cream. Fuck yeah. That sounds like it will be fun. Uh, All right. It's a Nilla wafer. No, it's nothing. Nilla Not a Nilla wafer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Neil, Neil just mentioned Nilla wafer. Um, that one's crumbly. Do you want well, it? Yeah. What do All we right. call them? Um, let's see if it's like that. And it says bourbon on it. Just so everyone is. See? Bourbon. Aware. Mirror mode. Mirror mode. It has no smell, but I guess we <laughs> If they're fresh baked, I guess they, they do. They do. It's really mild. No. Chocolate. They're kind of bland. So it might be too much. Okay. Not bad. Um. They're really crispy. White chocolate. Like, it's not overwhelming. Oh, I taste the bourbon. That's brilliant. And the cream. But hey, these are not bad. Oh, with a cup of coffee, this is really lovely. Mm hmm. Yeah. The bourbon is a bit much, though. The bourbon's like in your. The chocolate is like a bourbon ball squished between two chocolate wafers. Well, see, for me and you, we're different then because I'm tasting the chocolate and not much of the bourbon. No. Mm. I can taste the bourbon hardcore. So as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to get rid of the top layer and just eat the fucking bourbon. <laughs> it's actually on the back. It's like a an Oreo with an attitude. It is. That's not bad. I like it. Again, it's not too sweet. Mm -mm. It's not in your face sweet as fuck. No. Hey, that's not... Again, dipping this in a cup of coffee would be a lovely morning. Don't eat them all tonight. I'm going to try that. Okay. Yeah. Put them away. Because I will. It's my birthday. I'll be like, I'm sorry, buddy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cheers. Cheers. 
I'm kind of upset we didn't find something that we didn't like. George! Maria! George! Maria! George! Maria! I love you! Oh, I missed you! Will you come to me? The children are missing you! Okay, let's go! I will get there in the end. But now it's my turn! <laughs> Capes in the way. Oh! <laughs> Thank you all very much for doing our taste tests with us. <laughs> From around the world. Around the, the world. world. Being around the, the world. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> We're not, okay. Sorry, I was ready. <laughs> this is a different song. Okay. All right, so um, thank you all very much. Yes. And uh, have a wonderful weekend. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy birthday, birthday United the United States. States. Happy birthday, Philip. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. We'll see you all next time. Good night, everybody. Good night.